guys. Okay, so today I got me a few new makeup products from NYX. Uh, I went to my sister's store that she's the manager there, and I was just kind of looking around, and I seen a few NYX products that um, I thought I might want to try. So I will show you what I got. The first thing that I got is a BB cream. This is Beauty Balm Perfection in a Tube. It's supposed to brighten and smooth and moisturize your skin. So I thought I would try it. Normally I don't wear any kind of foundation because I break out. If you've seen my channel or know me in person, you know that I do not have great skin. And normally I try to stay away from foundation, but I recently got me a Clarisonic and I've been using that every day on my face and it seems to be making my skin a little bit better. I mean, you can see I have a lot of red spots, breakouts, red spots from old breakout, especially on this side, this side's the worst. But um, my skin is doing better, believe it or not. So I thought I would try to maybe use a foundation just to kind of see how it does. And if it starts to break me out bad, then I'll quit using it. But maybe I'll have more luck with it if I use my Clarisonic to wash my face. And it maybe it'll help. So I don't know. Okay, so the next thing I got is also NYX. Everything I got today is NYX. Is a stick foundation. It's NYX Mineral stick foundation and it doesn't really have a name oh yeah it does it's in the color porcelain uh, and I got this just to go under my eyes because I do have dark circles where I'm kind of pale this is too thick to put all over my face because I would break out like crazy so I thought maybe just to uh, kind of conceal the dark circles under my eyes, I figured that maybe it'll help that a little bit. So I got that. And the third thing I got was just kind of fun. And it is a eyeliner in purple. The shade is actually purple violet. And it's a little rule out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is try my new NYX foundation. I uh, put a little bit on my hand here. I'm going to use a little sponge to just kind of pat it on. Okay, so this is my face after I've put on my BB cream. Um, it feels really light and I like that because it doesn't feel like it's like thick pancakey on my face. So I don't really feel like it's going to clog my pores as bad as a lot of other things. But on the other hand, it's not a whole lot of coverage, which I knew that because anytime you don't get something a little bit thicker, obviously it's not going to cover it so well. So you're still going to see a lot of my redness and spots, but I'm okay with that. Normally, I don't even wear foundation. I just wear powder, so you can pretty much see all my blemishes on my face. So I'm used to that. I mean, I don't have good skin. I don't deny it. I don't try to hide it. I mean... I'm not going to put a pound of makeup on my face to try to hide what my skin looks like. I have breakouts. I'm human. So, it just happens. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is use my little stick foundation thing. And I'm going to put that under my eyes. Okay, so here is both of the foundations on. I just have the stick foundation under my eyes. I feel like it's definitely lightened up the darkness under my eyes, so I'm happy with that. I still have my little bags, though. I feel like I have granny bags, but uh, I have really, really bad sleeping habits. I stay up all night, and then I don't go to bed till sometimes like 10 o'clock in the morning, not even joking, and then I will sleep all day, and sometimes I'm just kind of like up and down. Like, I go to bed early in the morning, then I'm up at 12, and then... I nap for a little bit and then I'm back up so my sleeping habits are just crazy 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 so unhealthy so of course I have to blame the bags on my own habits so it's something I'm just gonna have to deal with but as far as the dark circles I feel like it definitely um, covered them some helped even that out okay so the next thing I'm going to do is put on my L'Oreal True Match True Match True Match powder 
and just try to set all this and see how it looks once I put everything on the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so here is my foundation and powder on. How does it look? Does my skin look smoother? Does it look less broken out? Maybe. I think it definitely made my skin look all together more even and smoother and a little bit less blotchy. I mean, you still see it, but yet I feel like it's not as noticeable. So I feel like that is good. Good goal. So now that I'm done kind of critiquing my new foundation, I'm going to move on to the rest of my look and do my bronzer. Okay, as always, I am using my Physician's Formula. Uh, I'm seriously going to have to go shopping for a new bronzer, which is one of the things I neglected to get today when I was buying makeup, but this is seriously on its last legs. Like, it's like edges. It's all that's left. But, thankfully, I'm very fair skinned and don't need a whole lot of bronzers, so I think I can stretch this for a few more days until I decide to go and get me some more. Okay, now I'm just going to do my contouring. Same stuff I always contour with. Now just adding some blush. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm not going to show that because it's the same way I always do my eyebrows. Nothing special, so I'm just going to kind of stick them on and then I will be back for the eyeshadow. Okay, so for this look, the only eyeshadow I'm going to be using is from the Kat Von D Starry Eyes Makeup Palette. If you can see that, it's nice and pretty. This I'll be using colors. Look how dirty. I'm so sloppy. But I will probably be using all these colors here in the purple palette and maybe this darker color from this gray palette. I'm not sure. Not really positive, but first we are going to start off with this color, this shiny purple color. I'm going to take that with my little trusty brush and sweep that all over my lid. I have this really bad habit when I go to put on makeup that I want to hold my eye out and just like stretch all the little wrinkles out and hold it tight to put it on but then it just kind of like rubs all my makeup off and I feel like my hands getting in the way of showing you what I'm doing and all these girls on YouTube they're just like one handing everything with their little brush so I'm trying trying to be a little bit more professional and actually just use one hand and a brush so we'll see how this turns out Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use this middle darker color. Take my little brush. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this color, dark gray color up here. I'm going to use an angled brush. And do my outside corner. Yeah, I can't do this without holding it. I've got to hold it. Now I'm just going to blend it in a little bit. Now I'm going to take this lighter shade right here and put that under my eyebrow. I did my eyeliner kind of thicker and rounded. So I'm going to add my light blue whitish color and my waterline. Okay, I have my waterline done. Now I'm going to play with my favorite part of my new stuff. That's my purple eyeliner. And 
put that on the bottom. So here's my purple eyeliner. You can definitely tell that it's matching my eyeshadow and it's a pretty big contrast from the black. Okay, for my lips, I always loved in my lips. It's like my favorite part, probably, is my lips. Um, I'm gonna be a little crazy and actually use my eyeliner for my lip liner because they're basically the same thing. For my lips, I am using MAC Heroin. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. So here's my look all finished in purple. It's a lot of fun and uh, I like it. Uh, if you like it, please comment, subscribe, like this video, uh, do this look yourself, put videos down below. I would love to watch them and see them and hear comments on what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you soon. Bye.